Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. So today our topic is about the clear cover. It's a very important topic for all Civil Engineering students, especially uh, uh, I can say in designing, it's a very important term. Uh, we, are, we are going to design the structure members, beam, column or something. We have to take care of the, this clear cover. Right, so first I have to define it uh, and then I have to explain and then give an example for beam, for column, which uh, we should provide this uh, cover. And it uh, and it's in the standards which uh, give us such type of cover that uh, you should provide this minimum cover. So the definition is that it is the least or minimum distance between the reinforcement reinforcement are steel bar and the outer surface of concrete outer surface of concrete what it means I will show here by example giving an example of beam I'm drawing it at here the beam in 3d for example, this is a beam, beam, and these are the steel bars, right? I will show you the clear cover. This is a beam, and these are the uh, these are the bars going uh, tr going through the whole length of the beam, right? So it is the least or minimum distance between the reinforcement and the outer surface of concrete. It means between the outer surface, this outer surface of concrete, this whole concrete, right? When we place the reinforcement, then we uh, uh, then we uh, fill this whole beam with the concrete, right? So it means, so it means uh, that is the minimum distance between the uh, between the outer surface of concrete and the reinforcement, and this is the reinforcement. So this distance, or we can see the, the distance between the reinforcement in the outer surface of the concrete that is in between the reinforcement and the outer surface of concrete we call this distance and this distance we call this clear cover right and it changes uh, it depends on the environmental condition depend on the structure uh, can uh, the type of structure which structure which structure do you want to construct so it changes uh, a clear cover for different members like for column it may be different for beams it may be different and for the structure type and more and type of environmental condition this clear cover changes so it was the definition of the clear cover and, uh, and now I'm uh, now giving you uh, that uh, why we provide especially these are provided for to and uh, for to uh, place the as the steel bar safe from the environmental condition environment okay to play uh, to save or uh, to be safe this uh, steel bar from the environment so don't cry this steel bar and the second is mainly for the fire corrosion and also environment it also includes the soil sometimes or moisture right so we brought this cover to save the steel from the fire resistance from the environment so we provide the clear cover and it's very really important in every structure you should every structure member you should provide the clear cover so coming to the beam and the uh, column examples that how much we should provide right and some standards uh, that we should provide that for the beams beams columns for the columns column and for the slab for the footing or we can see for the foundation case as I said as I, uh, as I uh, speak uh, earlier that it depends on the conditions it is not a fixed value that you should provide this amount of uh, distance so in beams the clear cover distance is 1.5 inches minimum right clear cover in case of the column it's also 1.5 inches or we can say it's 40 mm and engine standards 40 mm right in case of the slabs we provide uh, 3 by 4 inches or uh, 0.75 inches right 
well in case of footings it changes why it's always we provide the uh, 2.5 inches or minimum of 3 inches why we why the footing clear cover is more than in case of beams columns or slab because in footing like this is a column I construct a column and uh, this is the footing I provide for the column so for example I considering here uh, this is a soil so the soil is here uh, there are soils so and these are the steel bars maybe in the footing right so to provide this steel bar from the soil corrosion we provide more cover in case of the columns because there is no such soil we place uh, and in case of the beams I uh, in case of the beams or column there are no such soil conditions that's why we didn't provide so much cover in columns while in footing we provide always 3 inches or 2.5 inches and it shouldn't be less than these values like for beam it should be 1.5 inches the minimum cover column 1.5 inches slab 0.75 inches and in case of the footing 3 inches or uh, 2.5 inches and now I'm going to share some other uh, Terms, two terms it's very important that what is the difference between the uh, clear cover and effective cover all right difference between the difference uh, between the uh, clear cover clear cover or nominal cover we can see nominal cover also nominal cover and effective cover right there is some difference between these two terms difference between the clear nominal cover and effective cover effective uh, cover right it's cover effective cover so I'm taking again an example of beam and let's consider this is a beam but it's in a 2d section the cross section of the beam and I provide the reinforcement these are the reinforcement I provided these are the two other at the top and at the bottom so we define the clear cover and nominal cover is the distance between uh, the outer surface of the concrete and the reinforcement so this we define as clear cover and also called sometimes nominal cover right why the distance between the outer surface of the concrete to the mid of the reinforcement bar the distance from the outer surface of the concrete to the mid of the reinforcement we call is the uh, effective cover right it's now called as effective cover because uh, it's now this distance this distance plus uh, diameter of the bar it's now the uh, clear cover plus diameter of the bar so I can write it here that the effective cover is effective cover is equal to the uh, clear cover clear cover plus half of the diameter of the bar so dia into half so this is the so this will be the effective cover while clear cover is always less than the effective cover because it's the distance between the outer surface to the reinforcement while we call the uh, effective cover is the uh, distance from the outer surface of the concrete and to the mid of the reinforcement so it includes the clear cover as well as the half of the uh, bar which we use so this is the effective cover and these uh, these these were the difference and this uh, difference between the uh, clear cover and the uh, nominal or clear uh, cover effective cover and nominal cover sorry so and please uh, subscribe uh, our channel for more videos of civil engineering and if you have any question please comment we will answer as soon as possible and thank you for watching our video